They told you some people just have the math gene, and others don't. That was a lie to make you feel better about a system that failed you. But you weren't bad at math. You were just bored out of your mind. You were taught to be a human calculator, not a thinker. What if the problem wasn't your brain, but the blueprint you were given? In the next three minutes, I will delete that old program. And if you skip step three, you'll miss the secret that makes it stick for life. Step one, hook it to your why. Math without a reason is like chewing dry cereal. You can force it down, but why would you? The secret is to turn every topic into a key for a door you're desperate to open. You want to know how casinos really stack the odds against you? That key is called probability. Dreaming of building a multi-trillion game? The blueprint is algebra and logic. But here's the trick that everyone skip. Before you solve a single problem, take two minutes and write your why. Your brain isn't a calculator, it's a predator. It needs a scent to chase. Give it a real goal, and math stops being torture and becomes fuel. But that raw fuel is useless without a solid engine, and that's where most people have a secret weakness. Step two, back to the future. You've hit a wall, calculus, data science. It feels impossible. But that wall isn't made of advanced math. It's made of that one topic from three years ago you never really learned. You can't build a skyscraper on Jello, and you can't build advanced skills on a shaky foundation. So here's your mission. For one week, don't move forward. Go back. Become a detective for your own weakness. Was it functions? Exponents? That one weird thing with fractions? Hound an AI until it explains it in a way that clicks. Solidify that single crack in your foundation. When you do, the impossible wall in front of you won't just get easier. It will start to crumble on its own. But knowing what to learn and how to learn it are two different things. And the final piece is where the real magic happens. Step 3. Reflect even on wins. This is the secret that separates the amateurs from the pros. Most people race to the solution, check the box, and move on. They're collecting answers, but they're learning nothing. The real goal isn't to get it right. You have to let the problem fight you. Then, and this is the critical part, whether you got it right or wrong, you do the forensic analysis. Don't just look at the answer. Reverse engineer it. What was the hidden trapdoor in this problem? If I changed one number, would my method still work? Your correct answers can be liars. Maybe you guessed. Maybe you took the long, clumsy road. Your mistakes, however, always tell you the truth. This is how you build speed, not by rushing, but by making one deep practice session worth 10 shallow ones. Now, for the rest of your life, math will be a new lens to see the hidden patterns in your money, the logic behind a winning strategy for your loved ones.